Kyle Hamilton has had one whirlwind of a path to the NFL draft. So let's see how he got here in the first place. Second and five, they pick up the pressure, ball deflected and intercepted, and Hamilton. Unlike many of the other players I usually talk about, my man Kyle was born in Greece, while his father Derek Hamilton played for the Greek basketball club, Erikio BC. I know I butchered that, but anyways, it was a unique start to his football journey, but really only a pit stop as his family eventually moved to Atlanta following his father's retirement. Growing up in one of the most competitive places for high school football would seem difficult for someone who has not been there for the entire life, but that did not deter my man Kyle as he was an absolute stud. At Marist School in Brookhaven, Georgia, Kyle was a beast on both sides of the ball as a star safety and wideout. Throughout his time at Morris, Kyle just kept getting better and better, and so after his senior season, he was selected for the All-American Bowl. As you can probably guess, Kyle would have to be pretty effing good to be in the All-American Bowl, but my man was an absolute stud. Not only was he just a four-star, but a top five safety recruit in the country, with interest from schools like Baylor, Auburn, and Notre Dame. Although they were all good choices, one stuck out above the rest, and that was the Fighting Irish out there at Notre Dame. Going into his freshman season, Kyle was behind guys like Aloe Gilman and Jalen Elliott, so it was looking like he wouldn't get a shot to play. Well, turns out that wasn't the case as my man Kyle was able to log over 40 tackles, 6 pass deflections, and 4 picks. An impressive enough season for safety, but insane for a freshman, and yet was only the start of something special. You'd think Kyle would be in line for some sort of quote-unquote sophomore slump, following such a strong start to his time with the Irish. But once again, it was quite the contrary. His over 60 tackles, 7 pass deflections, and sole interception rounded out a pretty solid season for the Georgia product. Although he had 3 less picks than his freshman year, I don't think it was as much a factor of his play as it was the awareness of opposing quarterbacks to not throw in his direction. If you look at most secondary studs, the same thing is the case and honestly, a better sign of their talent than getting more picks. Nonetheless, his first team All-ACC nod was proof enough that Kyle was no joke, and so going into what was looking to be his last year with the Irish, my man was looking to do his thing once again. Although it looks like his stats took a nosedive as a junior, Kyle injured his knee against USC in the middle of the regular season, and after that, his year was a wrap. Nonetheless, even though his season ended in injury, Kyle had already proven that he was a star in the making, and I think the football world took notice. Even though he's fresh off a season-ending knee injury, Kyle is still one of, if not the best defensive players in the draft. In fact, ESPN analyst Mina Kimes went so far as to say that he is quote-unquote the best player in the entire draft. Her rationale for the statement is that he's a do-it-all talent and one that she would build a team around. It's a bit of a hot take, but really more so a testament of my man's talent and potential to be something special on the next level. Since he is 6'4", 220, and agile as anyone in football, he can do his thing all over the football field and in turn force offenses to create game plans specifically to combat his type of play. Think of Kyle as a reinvented version of Derwin James, since he's practically just a bigger version of the stud out there in LA. Because of that unique size, speed, and versatility as a whole, Kyle's ceiling is in the stars, and I would say it likely has him going top three. With Jacksonville likely going after an offensive lineman and Detroit Aiden Hutchinson, I think Kyle is almost certainly going to Houston. Since the Texans are a team in need of desperate help in the secondary, Kyle could be a huge help to turn around a franchise that has been through a rough past few years. Although he could quite possibly be the best defensive player in the draft class, it would still take a bit of work to make the Texans anywhere near good, but I think it could be the start of something great. Even though he's a star on the football field, I would say he's an even better person off it, with his ability to lead, with his one-of-a-kind work ethic, confidence, and professional nature that could help mend a locker room in the midst of quite a bit of controversy and with a lack of recent success. As the Texans Wire would say, Kyle is a can't-miss prospect, and I gotta agree with them on this one. Rarely do you have a player that has unique size, skill, and leadership ability. So I think the NFL, and most importantly the Texans, should be well aware of how talented my man is. What do you guys think? Is Kyle Hamilton the best defensive player in the draft, or is he simply overhyped? Comment down below your thoughts. But anyways, Kyle Hamilton is a special player that has been great for quite a while. And I can't wait to see what he can do on the next level. Here's a pitch to Sanders on the end around, and boy, Kyle <laughs> Hamilton throws him down to end that. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below with stuff you want next. 
But anyways, see you all soon and peace out.